Hey, we just got to Philadelphia. Been riding for the past 12 hours. Stayed out the previous night getting ready, skating with some friends. Just found out about this new local DIY spot that was built earlier this year. So we're gonna go check that out in the morning and see what happens. spot that was actually poured by a man right here, Matt Gilbert. And fifth pocket designs, Jesse Clayton. Tell us a little bit about the park and how it came to. Well, thanks to Joshua Nims, we got provided some state funds. Got three more parks popping up. No enforcement. Freedom little... back here under the train trestle. Let's go check it out. Right around the back, air mattresses, fucking mini wheats. Gates, they guard there the are security guards. Live in 24 hour security guards. We wanted to pour this wall and then kind of did it as we went. Jesse Clayton poured the whale. I like that. It's and it's fun. shaped. And you guys like are a killing giant it. Whale with a whale's tail. That's what it is. That's what skateboarding's all about. That's what it's about. Making it work. Thanks for threading it up. Right Brooklyn on. down here. Started skateboarding because kind of identified with the spirit of it. Skateboarding is just about, in my eyes, just having fun. You're not supposed to have a fucking ego, you know. If you want, to, if you have an ego, you know, you need to get the fuck out of skateboarding. Go play football or something. Yeah, exactly. Go play some organized sport. Yeah, yeah. The beauty of skateboarding is just doing your own fucking yeah. thing. Yeah. So you owe skateboarding everything. Skateboarding doesn't owe you a shit. So night doing a Benny, dude. It doesn't. That's wrong. We just finished up the sesh over this DIY spot, Grace Ferry, out in Philadelphia. I uh, heard about an art show from one of the locals tonight, an indoor bowl. So we're gonna head over and check that out. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Inspired by the Autumn Bowl in New York, uh, we used to go skate there all the time and uh, just tried to make our own thing happen the least, but it was a team effort. Holder was paying rent to have a private space to skate in. We're coming up on seven years and it's just been, it's been fucking starly. It's fucking indoor, it's private, there's nothing else like it. This is building a community like we've never seen before, all hanging out here. And we never know each other if it wasn't for this space. It'd be cool to do like a mini art gallery. Art and skateboarding always go hand in hand. This is it, you guys are at the premiere. This is the premiere. This shit's sick, dude. Thanks, man. These are just some, uh, some drawings I did with uh, permanent paint on like outdoor vinyl. This one, the Lady Luck. Thanks, wait for me to get back to the bowl scene. That's what it's all about. Amazing show. Thank you so much. Thanks. I started brewing about 10 years ago. Um, I had my dad and two of my uncles were brewing before me. A house with three other skate. We had a guy living in the basement. Like it's all skateboards. It didn't take me much to go through in three cases. It travels. You can meet. I'll grind to it. Represent that house event. Brooklyn in the house. I just had to come and check out the little art show for Brad. Over here, whenever these guys are doing something, because I love what they're doing. We've been in Philly for the past four days. It's been quite an experience. We got to meet a lot of really awesome people. Met a lot of great skaters that are benefiting the community. Tomorrow, we're heading over to Newark, Delaware, further to Baltimore, and then. Gonna ride our bicycles all the way to San Francisco. California. We're gonna ride these all the way there. <laughs> 